everyone welcome back here with chopping with screw welcome back to chopping it chopping it chopping it chopping it with screw <laughs> you know the fucking deal don't be sleeping bro don't be sleeping out don't here with sleeping. joseph Burr. ah <laughs> what's good bro you done fucking around i'm with it you with it yes sir i mean good to have you in here again bro let's get it I know you know really it unexpected but you know we gon' we gonna chop it up once again. Yeah, it's it's early, bro. It is definitely early. What's up with these early sessions, homie? You know, sometimes early bird gets the worm, man. Absolutely, but come on, bro. I still got crusty eyes, dog. I feel <laughs> that. I got my hat on just so you don't see me. Yo, bro. So for y'all that don't know, I was just gonna come here to chill. It was a chill day, you know. He was gonna just spectate. That's it. Take some pictures, you know. But some- um you know, sometimes I gotta throw you out to the woods, man. See how, yeah. see how you float. Yeah, bro. Nick was like, "Hey, bro, this other kid don't show up. You gonna, you guys gonna have to do it." Like, I'm down. I guess. Let's go. Hey, bro, that's crazy that you say that. Get thrown into the wolves. How uh, was that? I feel like that's how we learn. Oh, I absolutely. feel like that's like me, you and I. Like that's like the type of people we are. Yeah. You know, we adapt real quick. At least I like to think I do. I mean, I would say so. I mean, I got thrown into the wolves bartending. And look, Facts. And, you know, you did too. I mean, I like lied on my resume saying that I'm a good ass bartender. Oh yeah, bartend. And then I'm over here bartending. Hey bro, how do you make this? Hey bro, how do you make a tequila sunrise, dog? <laughs> All I know how to make is vodka sodas. Vodka sodas. <laughs> yeah. But Damn. hell yeah, bro. The, definitely. Uh, I'm glad to be back. Malboro for y'all that don't know, also known as J Flow, aka aka. Yeah, at your baby mama's house. Now I'm just playing. No, I'm just fucking around. But uh, let's talk about some real, real quick before we get into something else. Let's talk about Wild Wild West. Wild Wild West. Wild Wild West. So uh, damn. I, I know in the first episode we talked about it a little bit. You know, we said that kind of just hinted it. A yeah, little bit. hinted it a little bit. But now that it is an official, official. It's. I mean, it's yeah, it's pretty official. You know. Um. I linked up with uh the homie Sane from from Waimas and uh he's hey, uh he's, shout out to Waimas. Shout out to Waimas, you know, uh that's pretty close to where my dad's from, from uh in Palme Sonora. So it's crazy, bro, just like how everything lines up and just like the frequencies and you know, just like how I linked up with this kid. And uh he's gonna be uh producing the whole EP. So it's gonna be a six track EP, Wild Wild West. Um I want to drop it around September. It might be a seven track, maybe eight track. So we'll see. We still on the works, you know, still doing the kinks. But it's really going to be like a whole ass cabin fever vibe type of, you know, Wiz Khalifa vibe, but like Mexican style. So, yeah, you know, we're going to bring that Malboro energy. We're going to bring that whole Arizona energy. And I feel like that whole cabin fever, like all those beats, you know, Lex Luger and, you know, all them dudes like that worked on that project that that's like so nostalgic for me. Like us being in high school at the time when that came out, like I remember. Yeah, Wiz Khalifa was big. Yeah, bro. But like Wiz Khalifa was big, bro. But I feel like this, like, album right here was like going out turning up you yep. know what i'm saying especially like, the song cabin fever Damn. yeah bro bro all that whole album bro like i just remember you know just it brings a lot of nostalgia and i'm ready bro you know it's a uh, we we're just we're doing our own style on it you know what i'm saying but just the beats are gonna be on on par in that same energy so uh it's gonna be uh produced by sane uh I'm going to be on it, obviously. Uh, I'm going to throw Jaws on there. And then I got some other, uh, some, some other, some you, other you folks. Got some, you got some heavies. I got some heavy hitters and nothing but AZ hitters on there, you know. And uh, we going, it's just the tip of the iceberg right now, bro. You know what I'm saying? We just working. We we were just in the studio, what, two days ago? Yeah, two days ago. Uh, we we're building a set for May 1st, and which uh, we going to be at a... Uh, monarch theater we're gonna be performing at a it's a it's a competition for like a maui fest uh type of deal and uh basically whoever wins goes to maui and performs out there and uh bro we bring in that energy bro and it's like we did this little this little mock-up set and the energy was there you know we're gonna bring the some new songs some of our older music 
And then uh, we ended up touching on another song, which was crazy, bro. Uh, it's going to be called 90s Baby. And we just bring in that old school style, but with like our flow. And Jaws killed that shit. Man, that is... Uh, yeah. Man, come on, you gotta give yourself some credit, dude. Both of y'all, nah, no uh, for, and, and for me, just seeing it like bring into life, right? Just the way that it came to be, like it came in, you know, as a hot as it was really like improvised, improvised you know? song, like, like yeah, like kind of you know, just kind of got thrown into the wolves. Like I had a little idea of what I wanted. Jaws fucking came in and just freestyled his shit. And uh, we're going to have a vlog coming out on that. So uh, tap in on Screw Valley on YouTube. Same same page where this is going to be on. And uh, the energy was heavy, bro. It was beautiful. You know, it's like I'm just starting to get in that frequency of like, you know, just like really enjoying everything that we're doing and like really putting a lot of love and, you know, a lot of love and detail to all the stuff that we're doing. And it's like just really taking shit up to the next level and, you know, just really bringing that independent out in us you know what i'm saying because we consider ourselves independent but like how are we gonna take independent to the next level you know and it's like i've just been listening to a lot of stuff and you know just trying to study the game you know student to the game and bro i feel like everything we're doing it's like we're starting to catch that traction now and it's like you know it's like bro it's like az gonna be put on the az already on the map that's a fact. It is. You just had Young yeah. Weston on here, bro. Yep. That boy, that was a crazy interview, bro. That shit was dope. Dude, the feedback on that has been crazy. Yo, a lot of love. A, a lot, lot of love, love from the city. So thank y'all to AZ, Phoenix. Yeah, shout out to everyone who has watched it. Weston. If you haven't watched it, yes, go sir. watch it. That shout shit out was Weston. Hot. Bro, great interview, man. I love that type of shit. I love that energy. But um, yeah, bro, we on, man. We going Wild Wild West. It's coming soon. It's going to be engineered by Spin. Spin your baby. And, bro, it's going to be a hot-ass, hot-ass EP. I know Jaws is going to be working on some, so I don't want to... I know you're going to have him yeah, on I'm here by uh, himself, yeah, a, so I don't want to... So. I don't want to spill the beans on that one. But, uh, just, cheers, bro. Cheers. Cheers to life, Nick. Cheers, brother. Cheers, brother. So, I just want to touch on... You said uh, you're starting to feel a little bit like more of the independent feel... How does that look for you, personally? Like in the like, uh, 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 like in the here in the new future. I mean, I feel like I mean we've always felt independent, but we were kind of like not. It's like too independent in a way, you know. what I'm saying we didn't have much of a support. You know, all of our support is like really people that know us, our family, stuff like that. And like now we're like really starting to get traction. In Arizona, we're really starting to build that fan base. And so it's like, I feel like just like we're just starting to network more, get more connections, you know? And it's like, obviously, like everything to us is about like our, it's not as much as the image, but more of like the connections that we build with somebody, you know? It's like, if we tell you we're going to do something, we're going to do it. Yeah. You know, we're, we're about our business. We lit our nuts hang like like that's that bro like that if there's like one thing that i've learned from my people it's like yo be about your fucking talk like you yeah. know like that's that like you got if you're gonna say something that you're gonna do something for somebody make sure that happens so it's like i feel like that kind of is like starting to like really be put to the test here and um like really just started investing more money into our products, our quality, everything, just like all money in, bro. Just like Nipsey said, mm -hmm. you know, and just like really start making it really independent because, bro, it, to be independent, you got to put that money down. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah, like it's you don't not, have somebody backing you up. Absolutely. It's not like we have a bank. We don't have a piggy bank. Exactly. It's like, bro, we fucking we sell merch. You know what I'm saying? We do all kinds of little things to try to get our money up. But the majority of this money, 95% of this money coming from our own pocket, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's coming from, you know, our savings, whatever it is, investments, la di da da And don't get me wrong. It's like, it's like we're doing it to invest in ourselves, you know what I'm saying? To get out of that nine to five, you know, so we don't have to rely on a, on a 
company or, you know, just a job, you know what I'm saying? Like work for ourselves, man. It's like, and it's crazy, bro. Like I'm just stepping it up to another level. You know what I'm saying? It's like getting wiser by the day, you know, which, uh, not that wise, but shit, we, we're getting there, bro. It's like, and like, if there's one thing like being a bar, like, bro, every little thing is like a journey for me, bro. It's like being a bartender. Like I've only been bartending for six months at this place. And, uh, Bro, it's like a beautiful thing. I've learned so many things, like not only the craft, but like talking to these, you know, entrepreneurs, all these millionaires, billionaires, whatever, dude, and a lot of humble people, bro, and a lot of piece of shits. But I mean, like talking to those, you know, those humble dudes and like, you know, I always ask them like, hey, like what's what kind of advice would you give a youngin trying to become an entrepreneur? Like one piece of advice, kind of like how you ask in your podcast, you know? Bro, it's like, I have people tell me all kinds of different things, man. But like yesterday, I asked some dude, he, I was like, hey, his name was Mark. I was like, hey, Mark, what's any advice you could give me? He was like, stop thinking about it and just do it. It was like, get it out of your head and just go for it. It's like, if you want to invest in property, just go invest in property. You know what I'm saying? Like, And like, if it fails, fuck it. Do it again. You know what I'm saying? You're going to learn something from that fail. Don't don't beat yourself over up over it too much. Learn from your mistakes. And you know what I'm saying? You can't make mistakes if you're not doing something. So it's like, that's kind of like that whole independent thing. Like, and I know we're all on the same page as far as, far as cash plays, you know, but just me as myself, like I want to better myself every single day to bring more to the table to cash plays, you know what I'm saying? So we all grow as a unit. So it's like, if we not all growing, you know what I'm saying? We, we we're staying stagnant. And I know we're not about that. That's no, not in our that's not, not a, that's not no. in our motto. So it's like that's kind of like, you know, little things, bro, as far as like the independent thing. And you know, I mean, it's like, bro, like the the city will show love. You know what I'm saying? The city's gonna show love. They're gonna have to show love, bro. Yeah, and and I've and I've realized that just because like like you said, we are about a business, we everything we said we we were going to do, we done. So people are, are seeing that, you know, people can be at first can be ignorant and not see and be like, nah, they, they, they ain't going to last. Like, right. A little clubhouse, but nah, like this is for real. We're genuinely doing this. You know, we're genuinely in this podcast, in this room right now with Thanks. a big ass production. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? We're, uh, you know, you, you and Jocelyn just straight up make in, in this, in the actual studio recording, you know, Putting out music consistently, yeah. not just like here's a song, here's another song. Nah, consistently building up to how you, how you guys want to be in the future. Right. You know, when we are able to not work a nine to five and just you know be focused on one hundred percent more in the business. Right. Yeah, bro. I mean, it's like we're like we started off like feeling a little. You know, just like, ah, uh, folks ain't showing love and da da da. You know what I'm saying? But that's like part of the experience. It's like, yo, get your get your head out of that. You know what I'm saying? Let's do it for ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Let's keep it real. Let's keep it a buck with ourselves, and that's it. You know what I'm saying? Like the city will come, the love will come, it'll show up. You know what I'm saying? Let's let's just be genuine. Let's keep it organic. And um, I feel like we've been doing that a lot lately, and it's like it's 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 going in the direction that we're expecting it to go, you know what I'm saying? It's like, and we're starting to create a, like an algorithm basically in ourselves and the way that we move, you know, it's like yeah. we're, we're, we're moving more as a unit instead of, you know, Oh, I'm gonna do this. and oh, I'm gonna do this, but we're still part of the same thing, but not we're like every move that somebody makes contributes to cash plays, you know what I'm saying? To the hub, you know? So it's like, we're moving, bro. We're grooving. And, is going in a beautiful direction for us. So I can't, I can't complain, man. It's like, we're, we're becoming more structured, you know, it's like, I think one thing we all sat down and talked about, it's like, all right, bro, like we're about to build a business. How do we want to build this business? Do we want to build it on fucking quicksand on a fucked up foundation? Nah, hell nah. Let's get our foundation right. Let's get that shit on concrete. You know what I'm saying? Let's, let's build this shit on brick. Like, you know, let's make this happen, bro. Like, this is going to be something that's going to be passed down to our children, bro. To our children, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, hopefully even after that. And after that, it's a legacy in the making, bro. Like, this ain't about us, bro. This is yep. way bigger than us. You way know what bigger. I'm saying? Like, we're, I mean, I'm, we're going to have fun at, 
as we go and stuff. But it's like, this is bigger than us. This is bigger than life itself. I mean, that's crazy, but <laughs> I mean, it's big, bro. It's like, I, t- I put my, I put my passion into it and we, we moving, bro. We moving and it's like all positivity. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm trying to bring that num- number positive energy, bro. You want some negative shit, dude? You, I'm not with it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, anybody on some negative shit about us, I don't want to hear it. You know what I'm saying? So miss me with that bullshit. And uh, let's run it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Wild Wild West coming soon. Yeah. <laughs> Go check out Screw Valley Collection 1, man. Come on. Quit playing. That shit running up numbers, bro. In Cali and Nevada. Shit. I want that shit to run up in Japan, bro. I know the, the Japanese are going to love us, bro. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fucking going to be out there Tokyo drifting, boy. And this guy. Dude, I'll say what it be to do a music video out there. Oh, it's going to happen, bro. It's, it's going to happen, bro. We're going to Japan next year. Oh, oh facts. I'm we going it. to Japan next year, bro. It's, I'm, I'm calling it, bro. It's happening. I'm with it. Yeah. Y'all heard that. So, it's happening. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> We're going to be out there with the blossom and everything, bro. Shit. Have you ever, do you ever just go back? Have you, have you looked at their, uh, our earlier videos lately? Yeah, do I do all the time. You do all the time? I watch everything a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I'm half of the views on that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I actually just watched them like uh, the other day and I was like, damn, bro. Like. Which ones? All of them. You watched all of them? All of them. I sat, I sat, I did not realize how deep I was. I was like, that's crazy. It, and it's quite a bit. It's a lot, dude. It's, it's a lot. It's the edits were kind of weak, you know, and the, the, the quality ain't all there, you know, but it shit is organic. Hell yeah. dude. And that's so, and for me, it wasn't more about the edits. Cause I seen, cause I've seen videos that are like good, you know, entertaining, even though the edits, you know, can be like, eh. right. but for, for us at the time, Bro, like we we had some great shit. Like we still do. The content was the, there for the sure. The content was there. Yeah. Like we we never really missed out. Like we never put out any bad content. No, no, no. I mean, and like what's bad content, what's good content, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Everybody has their own their own perception of something, you know? You could have the fucking greatest predicted video and people going to hate on that shit. Look at all these damn Hollywood movies. You know, how many Rotten Tomatoes does this have? Man, they, this is this has million dollars invested into it and people going to shit on it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's true. It's like, bro, it's like we do it for our audience. Our audience loves it, you know? And it's like, I've seen a lot of those videos. Like, I hadn't gone back to, like, the numbers. Like, I usually try to stay, cons- like, I check on our numbers, like, on our recent videos, like, how they're doing. And just yesterday, I was like, hold on, let me see what all these other ones are doing. Like, remember when I was doing the unboxing of the hats and stuff like no, that? Yeah. And um, like, I was like, damn, th- these numbers ran up. Like, they're up there. You know what I'm saying? It's like, because all of a sudden, you know, Dude, fitteds that, are in. Fitteds are in, bro. Like, Yeah, like, that's crazy, bro. It's like, now I don't even want to rock my fitteds since fitteds are in. I don't even want to buy them <laughs> anymore, man. They're freaking hard to buy. I, bro. I ain't gonna talk about the L's that we that I've been taking, bro. I was like, bro, I just want the damn hat, bro. Like, I, a fucking hat, bro. This this hat used to sit on this damn website for about a month, and now it doesn't even sit for ten seconds, bro. What's not, going not on? Not even the not even like the like the regular on field ones, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. There. Like the only ones that sit on there are like NFL and like NBA hats, like yeah, them, you know, it's like, bro, like, but any baseball hats, you know what I'm saying? Any freaking colored bottoms. Shout out to Hat Club, bro. Y'all killed it on mm-hmm. on the whole brims, bro. And that shit is hard. Um, but that's crazy, bro. It's like I just been taking L's left and right. Like I was trying to I was trying to cop that the Braves one, the the brown Braves. Uh I forgot. I think it was like a Manolo uh Oh that yeah, that was Manolo the, the or something Manolo like that. Collab. Yeah, those were hard, yeah. bro. It's no, like no. And, and I don't even rock freaking I only rock Boston and Arizona, bro, but it's like I've been trying to like see I've been it. seeing too many hard yeah I see you with that with the Angels one bro that shit is hard but it's like I've been trying to just cop some dope hats like shit that I could rock on my shoes and just with some you know with some stylish shit but uh I fucking took an L this morning bro <laughs> I took an L this morning I was trying to cop those uh those blue fours oh yeah, yeah I took that L but you see those Travis Six, uh, the Travis Scott Six is coming out. The new ones, the the, the tan ones. Yeah, the tan. Those ones. are hard. 
It was a tag. My lady, she was like, man, you just you just trying to get them because it's Travis Scott. No, they're like, hard. What you mean? This is, these are hard. They was like, oh, it's because they're brown, huh? That's why you like them? I'm like, nah. No, they're hard. <laughs> <laughs> Those are hard, bro. Travis, he got he got the drip for sure. For sure. Yeah. But let's talk about a little bit about the hat game, though. Like, what do you think? What do you think is gonna happen in the future on this hat game? But the hat game, I mean, yeah. bro, I think it's it's here to stay, bro. Like the, hat, I mean, me personally, like the hat game's always been hard. Like I've always had a hard hat game. Like, you know, I was fucking, and you know, us Mexicans, like I feel like we've been embroidering our shit for how long? It's like I used to have my last name on my on my cap. You know what I'm saying? It's like now all everybody doing the embroidery stuff, like all the unique stuff, and which mm-hmm. uh, that's it's awesome, bro. I do. I used to buy my fitteds at the swap meet. I used to buy my fitteds at the swap meet, bro. They were real fitteds too. Yeah, I feel I feel that though, bro. When I used to work at the swap meet, bro, I was like, what? I was like in sixth grade, bro. And bro, I would honestly, I would only work just to buy. I would, I bought me a little chain, a little silver chain, bro, with a cross on it, with some with some Fugazi diamonds on it. You know, I had the fitteds, bro, with my last name on them, bro. I had a shitload of fitteds, bro. It was crazy. Humble like, beginnings, man. Bro, like, I wish I still had all those hats, bro. But every time I went to Mexico, bro, I wouldn't come back with anything. All my people out there be like, motherfucker, you can't, you can't take that shit back. The hell? You bring the, it's like, you come to Mexico with all the stuff and you leave with none of it. How? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's just like, it, it's more like, you know, just uh, fun and just like all my cousins, you know what I'm saying? So they were rocking. I would give them my, uh, my fitteds and, you know, some, my shoes. Um, just stuff like that, which is like something that ever since then, like, like as a kid, you're like, oh no, but that's my hat, you know. But mm-hmm. it's like now you look at it like, damn, that's like you're mm-hmm. like, like that's something that I do now. Like, it's like because I buy a lot of clothes, or you know, I don't like to think that I do, but I do, and like a lot of hats and whatever. And like when I go to Mexico, like I always take you know some bags and you know give them to the family out there. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like it's crazy. Like it's clothes out there is like super expensive. You know what I'm saying? It's hard to get your hands on. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I buy good quality clothes, you know what I'm saying? Like not all expensive and shit, but good quality. So, yeah, you know, so. it's gonna I might not wear it anymore. It might not be in style. So, you know, boom, you give it to your family out there and they rock the shit out of it. I have my little cousin rocking some Bali and sagas out there. A little food fresh. <laughs> He don't even know what them shoes are, dog. <laughs> <laughs> he don't know he rocking some, He's like, some what, what are these socks looking like? Hell yeah, bro. The, yeah, those black sock ones. Yeah, the black yeah. sock ones. Yeah, I wasn't fucking one. I wasn't. I didn't want to. And but now I've been like selling my. <clears throat> well, I haven't. My lady, be, she be selling my stuff like on Poshmark and stuff. But which, damn, like I was like, I made some good money, like off some, off some Burberry tees and stuff like that, like. Like, damn, like, I've never really thought about selling my stuff like that. So it's, like, blessed to have her to sell my shit like that. Like, damn, you know? But still, like, all the other stuff, like, I'm, if I know it's, like, if they'll rock it out there, boom. It's going to, it's just, it's going to Mexico. <laughs> but that's also a different type of, like, level of respect, you know? That, that speaks a little bit of more volume, you know, that you're, that you actually take the time, take everything out. And you give it to like certain people because they'll also remember that. Well, I, I'm more, I'm more give it. I like, I'll give it to my, um, to my compadre and, uh, he'll, uh, he kind of just like spreads the love, you know what I'm saying? Like he knows everybody's and he, he knows who needs something in the community. So, you know, and like him and his family, like they're like, kind of like the people that like do everything for the community type of deal. So, uh, he, He's the one, like, they'll give the stuff, give the stuff out and stuff like that. So, but it's like, like I said, bro, as a kid, like, I'm like, no, that's my hat. Like, you can't have my hat. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But it's like, now as an adult, but like, they would still take it. They didn't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, now as an adult, like, you know, it's like, damn, like, that's, that's like, you know, you're being groomed to, you know, not be so greedy, you know, it's like, and I feel like that's something like with Mexico, bro. It's like, not everybody. There's a lot of greedy people in Mexico. Don't get me wrong. But it's like at least like in the little communities and like the you know the, the very poor rural areas like where my dad's from like bro you cannot have it's like you could have uh very little money in your pocket but guess what you still gonna eat every day you know what I'm saying there's people that are gonna help you you know everybody 
It's like, I have it this day, this week. So guess what? We're going to drink on me this week. But then the homie got it the next week, you know, so we're going to drink on him that week. You know, they yeah. they move like that. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I feel like the out here, like in, in the States, like it's a lot, a little bit more greedy. Like, oh, if we go out to eat, like, oh, we all pay separate. Like, or, you know, you can't really go out to eat. Like, unless you got some down ass homies, like they always cover for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like we do, you know what I'm saying? But we also all have a that that culture behind us you know that fucking your parent will whoop your ass if you trying to do some dumb grimy shit yeah let me get that shit itemized i want everything listed i only want what's mine nah, right do nah. i mean don't get me wrong like i've had a i've had a greedy mentality you know what i'm saying we could all be greedy in our own ways you know but it's like i'm trying to get out of that like that's like one thing that i'm working on like you know just share the wealth especially with my people it's like obviously my family like take care of them you know what i'm saying y'all my family so you know what i'm saying y'all y'all fit under the umbrella so yeah, we, we y'all motherfuckers better take care of your asses though because i don't really want to take care of y'all i just <laughs> won't wipe your ass though when you're older that's fucked up i'll spray you down though damn damn <laughs> but yeah bro it's like it's crazy bro two different cultures two different types of uh it's two different worlds for sure simple as that Mexico and this and it's like it's crazy it's like you can never be too Mexican for the Mexicans and you can never be too American for the Americans or you're too what is it it's like you're too Mexican for the Americans and you're too American for the Mexicans yeah and like I I, like I'm first generation like we're both first generation Americans and like we're like right there it's like I can't I'm not too good for you but I'm not and I'm not too good for you like yeah, you know? it's like it's like a tightrope. You like you either you either are you really aren't. Like right. like for me here I'd be hella Mexican, but when I go out to like where I'm from, you hella like American. Right. So it's like, you know, it stick out like a sore thumb. Right. First of all. Oh yeah. You're you're just like, by the clothes you're wearing. Yeah. Like even like your accent, I guess you you develop an accent, like a Spanish accent. Yeah. You know, Oh, they know. As they soon know. as you start speaking Spanish, they know that you're not from. And from they come there. in heavy with a roast. Oh, facts. They fucking used to call me mocho all the time. Like, but fuck, bro. I had to practice my shit. You know what I'm saying? That's why I fucking rap in Spanish. But I've also been trying to develop my English rapping, bro. Like, that was like one of my insecurities in a way, you know? It's like. I wasn't confident in rapping in English. I was more confident rapping in Spanish because I know a lot of people like in the industry that we're in, they don't they don't understand what they're saying. Like they just like hear the melody and the, you know, the the rhyme pattern and all that. But it's like now I'm like trying to tap into the English a little bit more. It's like I still got a lot a long long way to go, you know what I'm saying? But we we gonna get it done, bro. That's like one one of those things that I'm gonna accomplish you know oh absolutely i have no i have no no disbelief that you won't like yeah, you, i appreciate that that shit just keeps leveling it up for you and joss like you guys joss is crazy with it yeah he, he gets you know he, he's been doing that a long time though he's been doing it for a he, while he's crazy with it bro that kid is crazy with it bro he he's a like lot a, of people have slept on my boy yeah. A lot yeah. of people have slept on my boy Jaws, bro. A lot of people have disrespected my boy Jaws. Y'all know who you are, bro. Nah, not no more, bro. Y'all not going to be sleeping, bro. Hell nah. I don't even want to get on that negative shit. I'm just saying it and I'm putting it out there, bro. Don't be sleeping on my boy, man. He's super talented. That man, he knows what he's doing, bro. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? He takes... He, he takes so much pride in what he does and he's so you know what i'm saying he, he's just like he's very different than everybody else like you know and it's just it's insane bro it's it's beautiful to see like how much he's like leveled up to you know what i'm saying absolutely he's 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 gone from you know fucking making music in fucking those little jacked up headphone beat like he- yeah, the headphone, little throwaways the little throwaways yeah like the little apple throwaways like yeah probably even worse than those but he's he's made music in that 
Yeah. It's like I don't I see I haven't been there. I've he introduced me to music when, once he was already in the studio. So I've been blessed to only be in, you know, I mean not all the best quality, but in good quality, in you good know. Good quality, yeah. But that man has has been doing music from the gutter for sure. Shout out to Jaws. Shout out to Jaws. Arrows Dotty. Shout out to Arrows. Yeah. I know you're watching this boy. Shit, for real. That boy, you know. That, that boy be watching all of our shit, bro. Yeah, for real, dude. I remember, like, and he, and he knows, and you know what's cool? Like, he knows his dad's songs. Yeah, he knows all of our music. He knows the songs. Well, like, before that other show, before the one, uh, the one that uh, VCR did. Oh, yeah. Um, we're bumping that new music. We're bumping Knock Them. We're bumping uh, Guerra de Clara. And he was like, Daddy, it's like, I, you haven't showed me this music. You haven't showed me these songs. I'm like, damn, this damn kid, bro. Damn. And I was like, but damn, you throw like, you throw the whole Screw Valley album on. And he, he word for he word. Knows. Word mm-hmm. for word, bro. This kid knows it all, bro. Like, yeah, yeah. bro, big. He's he's our biggest fan, bro. And like, he's he's part of the reason, bro. Like, we do, we like, do what we do, we do. We do what we do for him, bro. We yeah. do what we do for our families, bro. Like, like, it's crazy, bro. We we've, we've been faced with so much adversity, bro. Like trials and tribulations, bro. And like, I feel like all this stuff, bro. All this hard shit that we've been put through, bro. Like. As far as our families, you know, we've all gone through so much shit, like just in the last year, bro, Mm -hmm. in the last two years, bro. Like, it's crazy, bro. A lot of people don't know what we've been through, bro. But like, we all know what we've been through and like some hard shit, bro. Like, you know, we've struggled with family matters and like, bro, like we keep running, bro. Like we run for them, bro. Like, like that's something like I got so much respect for you and Jaws, bro, because you guys have the same mentality that I have, bro. And it's like, what don't, like, what don't break you makes you, you know what I'm saying, type of deal. Like, bro, like, a lot of people would have folded already. Oh, absolutely. A lot of people would have folded, bro. And it's like, I just want to be an inspiration to those that think that they would fold. Like, nah, like, keep going, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we've been through some personal shit and, like, a lot, like, you know, like, People's lives would be done, bro. But nah, man, like, there's there's light at the end of the tunnel. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like you're going through some stuff right now. And mm-hmm. it's like, bro, it's like, whatever I can do, let me know. Yeah. And don't, and, hes- and don't hesitate. And then that's one thing that like I'm really proud of is like the way like we come together for one another and have that and like that connection. Cause you like, I don't know, for me, I've never had that with somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Like it, I don't know how to explain it. Like, we're not just, like, we're not owners just, of a company. Like, we're, like, a fucking brotherhood. You know yeah, what I'm no, no doubt. Yeah, and, like, that's, like, that's, like, one of those things, bro. It's, like, like, a lot of people have told me, bro, it's, like, hey, man, like, don't do business with your, with your boys. Like, don't do business. Like, they're, like, family. You guys are, like, family. Don't do business together. I was, like, nah, what the fuck? Like, bro, this... This business ain't nothing, bro. It's our friendship. It's our brotherhood. Like, at the end of the day, bro, like, like, I'll I'll be out if some shit ever goes dumb. You know what I'm saying? I'll be out in a heartbeat. Yeah. Like, I will preserve our friendship. You know what I'm saying? Our our brotherhood over anything, bro. Like, nah, we're not gonna do that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's like, it's like we're all in an understanding and we all move in a unit. We all communicate with each other. So it's like, nah, we're not going to, that that ain't going to happen. You know yeah, what I'm saying? And, and I feel like some people would get offended by that. Like, oh, you're just going to get up and leave? Nah, 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 man, fuck that shit. You know, they would start, you know, they would get oh, worked up about it. But right. for us, like, we understand that our friendship and our, you know, outside of the business is more important than than the business itself. Like, in the aspect of, like, we'll preserve that, like you said. Right. And we'll keep it 100 to ourselves in that way. No doubt, bro. And, it's like, and that's a lot more respectful than somebody who'd be like, nah, well, so you're just going to get up and leave? Nah, fuck that. Yeah, bro. It's like, at the end, bro, life is like, life is simple, bro. It's like, I know we all go through a lot of stuff, but life is easy, bro. It's like, you know, you, we don't have to make it so stressful. You know what I'm saying? It's like, 
we got to have patience, you know what I'm saying? Which is hard for me to say, bro, because I've been that person with no patience. And you know this. Mm. You know this, bro. And like, I just feel like I'm in a different stage of my life right now, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I've had a lot of patience. I let things just roll off, bro. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I've been carrying like weights on my back, bro. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, but it's my own mind doing it to myself. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, bro, I'm not doing that no more to myself, bro. I'm not going to do that to my family, bro. I'm not going to do that to my kids. You know, it's like, nah, like, we got to move different. You know what I'm saying? We got to move, like, just subtle, bro. It's like, it's just having that patience, you know, just having that calm with other people. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, we're going to be stressing about some stuff. But it's like, nah, like, bro, stress will kill you, bro. Stress will kill you. Stress will give you Mm -hmm. cancer, bro. Stress will give you so many things. I mean, a lot of other things will give us cancer in this world, too. But it's like, bro, stress is like number one killer. And like, that's like something I pray to God every single day, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, God, relieve me of this stress. Like, let let my like let my stress be your stress. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> salud. <laughs> salud. You good, bro. You good. <laughs> salud. <laughs> but um, yeah, bro, just, you know, just I, I'm trying to leave my stresses to God. And and yeah, bro, I mean, live, live, live different, bro. You know what I'm saying? Get ready for what's up next. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. ready for what's next. Um, me too, bro. And with that being said, you know, I just, we, we go, you know, I think we're running out of time. This man got the, you, you threw hey, the cat. Hey, ah, look at this guy. The, he threw on the shoes. Co- was a fire. Oh, we're just looking. Oh, yeah. You're good. I got you. You good? Go to 45. All right, let's do it. We're going to 45. Right, Next we, I go to 45. So this third half, we're just going to talk some Mi shit. 45 conmemorativa pa <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you want to tell him what my next hat is? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I mean, if, if you oh. want, I mean, I was going to bring it up, but, you know, now that you're <laughs> So for the people out there, so, uh, you know, my boy... Marlboro here is blasted with some ink and he just recently decided that he's going to blast his, what is it, like your hip, like your front hips? Yeah, like kind of where your jean line is, you know? Yeah, like your like your V-line, your where your V-line would be. Yeah. He won't, he got two forty fives on there, hella Mexican, all like, is it all designed up, designed. all suited up. Suited he said he gonna booted, have the, ex- he going to have the extendo clip, the banana clip sticking out. Ain't no banana clips. <laughs> I'm, my mags are gonna be real nice, nah, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna do that though, like this. You know, I feel like you <laughs> fucked with me though, man. I'm not fucking with you, bro. I carry my guns like that. I, I know, but that's different though. I know, and I'm different, boy. <laughs> I understand you know that. You know this? I don't know, man. Just porn star vibes for me. Nah, absolutely not, bro. Just suited and booted all day, bro. You know what I'm saying? Fucking. I know what it is, bro. We're gonna be have the two forty fives. So how that happen? You just it's wake a up. wild, wild west, boy. You we know just how wake we up roll. one morning and be like, I'm just gonna get two forty fives on my hip. That's what. That's what. But you know, but I respect that though, man. I respect that. Yeah, but I'm still gonna roast you on site. That's fine, bro. That shit gonna be f- dope. <laughs> shit gonna be hard. Ain't nobody got two forty fives like that. Come on, boy. <laughs> Yo, that's just happening. But um yeah, bro. Um I can't wait, bro. Fucking thank you for having me on here, bro. Oh, dude, no doubt. You know, I'm glad to throw you in here on the wolves. If you're still listening, yeah. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Like right this now. This is this is where like the little violin music starts playing. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah bro that's a sick ass fitter bro i like that shit and you know, that's a I, that's a hard shirt oh yeah shout out to uh global collective yeah that's hard i know they from az yeah they're from AZ. They, they were just at the they were not at this last pop-up shop but, but they, they were, were at the one before right yeah right this last pop-up shop was hard it was it was dope the was, setup was crazy bro dude the rug that rug i love the rug damn so if y'all ain't coming out to a pop-up in shop with us Y'all need to slide through, bro. Y'all still sleeping. Come, bro. Come get some fucking vintage shit. Come get some cash play stuff. You know what I'm saying? 
it, bro. We do so many like giveaways and raffles. Like it's dumb. Like just come have fun. You don't have to mm-hmm. come buy something or just because to support. Nah, it's a it's, it's just, just so a, fun. Yeah, it's just it like we had a beer pong table. Beer pong table. Water pong. Water pong, yeah. Uh we had a cornhole. Cornhole. Song. Everybody was fucking with the cornhole. Oh bro, everybody loved that shit. And we just fucking flop. Just tossing, bro. Just having fun, bro. Just being chill. Just being us. But, man, uh, we'll be posting. Stay posted. We got some. We got some merch coming out. We got some merch that. Uh, I don't know if you want to talk about it. Um. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we can talk about it. I mean, so we're gonna have merch coming out. It's gonna be uh pre-sale merch. It's gonna be. It's all gonna be going to uh. It's all gonna be donated. Um. Like I said, uh, we all go through some shit in life, and uh, Jose here, he's he's going through some shit right now, some heavy shit um, with OG moms, and I mean, you, you know, want to say it, bro? I like I don't I don't know I don't know what you want me to say about that. <laughs> like it's I'm, just tough, uh, like speaking out loud now. But to like to be an open book, so my mom got really sick. You know, she got cancer in her liver. So uh, we decided, uh, you know, something that I can do and we can do, you know, part of the business because of this, what we like to do. We are going to do a pre-sale drop. Uh, it's going to be uh, liver cancer theme. So I believe is like an emerald, an emerald ribbon. We still, yeah. Yeah. Like, we, we, we're still working on some designs, but it's, it's going to be coming. And 100% of that donation, like of that sale, it's going to go to help out my mom's and her treatments and we'll get her whatever she needs a proper care whatever yeah you know because you know she she's a she's a tough woman she, dude. she is a very tough woman man she's such a tough woman man and like you know she's a, a great mother you know what i'm saying nope. a mother of how many six of us of six man mother of six mother so of six we're gonna be dropping this um this merch and you know what I'm saying? For whoever wants to help, you know what I'm saying? Don't do it for the merch. You know what I'm saying? Do it for, you know, to help somebody else out. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I mean, just, I mean, you know, she's yeah. a OG mom. She means a lot to all of us. You know what I'm saying? Uh, God is with us, man. Godspeed, dude. That's all I know, man. Yeah. And uh, Joseph, I know you... You being stronger than ever right now, man. You you a I tough dude, to, bro. You, and, you're and a lot tougher than yeah. me, man. I'll tell you that much. But that's one thing that you know you you had to kind of, I guess you don't just. Some people, like you said, some people would have folded. You know, some people would have lost their shit. Like Absolutely. you know, you know, they're, you're you're losing your parent. You know, it's tough. And don't get me wrong, but it's something that you have to stay strong. Because for me, I'm one of the oldest, and you have to be that example at some point to the younger. Absolutely. So if you're strong, they're going to stay strong. If you support it, you start making a support system, you know, Absolutely. everybody's going to come together. And that's what I've seen so far. Right. You know what I'm saying? Everybody working, bro. Yeah. And for the, the, you guys are all going to stay strong for her. Yeah. She needs it more than ever now. Absolutely. Because we fall, you know, she not, she, it, it discourages, it discourages somebody from, you know, right. trying to get better and be like, I'm just a burden to these people. You know, I'm just, right. nah, we, we, you don't make that person feel that way. Definitely not, bro. But, yeah, coming out soon. Uh, Stay tuned. She's in our prayers, bro. Uh, love you, my bro. And you know what I'm saying? I love all your family, bro. And I'm here. Whatever I can do. You know what I'm saying? You already know that. And yeah, of course, man. And I, I appreciate that. Well, well, yeah, bro. More than ever. Cheers, bro. Cheers. Cheers. Yes, sir. Cheers, Nick. Nick. All right, Nick. Is there anything you want to say, man? Come on. I don't got a mic, bro. No, uh, oh, come on, man. Let's, let's, let's get it. Life sucks sometimes. We got family and friends. Sounds so cliche, bro, but that's all it's about, man. We're here in this room right now. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Hanging out, talking. We got friends. Yeah, all man. For life. It's uh, that shit makes you, bro. That those moments make you, bro. We mm-hmm. don't, we come out stronger than ever. I'll tell you that much, bro. We're doing it for the family, and that's it, bro. We do it for the city. Y'all know what it is. Bah. All right, and then I guess with that being said, let's uh, wrapping it up. We're gonna wrap it up, man. All right, brother. Yeah, y'all know what it is. Malboro here, chopping with screw with Jose, doing it for AZ, De La Finiquera. You know what I'm saying? Wild Wild West coming soon. Stay tuned. Y'all already know. J Flow out. Ah.
And don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. Well, I'll see y'all in the next one, man. Peace. <laughs>